<laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Meredith Abbott, Culinary Director for Sur La Table, and welcome to On the Table. Today I'm going to be showing a slow cooker beef short rib with gremolata. This recipe is perfect for those cold winter days. I have my slow cooker set to its searing and browning function. Now I'm going to add a little bit of oil down into the bottom of the insert and start searing my short ribs. I'm going to place them with the fat cap side down. You should start to hear a little bit of a sizzle. Great. Don't overcrowd your pan. Make sure that there's a little bit of space in between each short rib. So this means that you're gonna have to work in batches. But this step is really important because it starts to build that flavor. So it was sometimes with the old school slow cookers, there's no searing or browning function. And some of the new ones have it and it's a great feature because it starts to build more flavor as if you're cooking it over the stove or in an oven. So it's really great that slow cooker companies have started to add that feature. It's something that I look for when I'm shopping for one. So you're going to place these, don't touch them, let them sear. It's gonna probably take five to six minutes and we're going to flip them and brown them on each side until they're really deep and golden brown. So have some patience, but this is gonna have a much better result in the end. My short ribs are completely browned on all sides. You can probably hear that sizzle. It's amazing, that is flavor in the making. So now it's ready to go into its slow cooker function. I have one yellow onion that I've wedged, one whole head of garlic that I've cut in half. This is just going to be so it releases its flavor a little more easily, and some beef broth. Amazing. I'm gonna cook them for four to six hours or until they're tender. There we go, slow cook time. Now that the ribs are tender, I'm gonna remove them to a wire rack lined baking sheet. These are so tender, they're falling off the bone already and that's okay. And now it's time to reduce the liquid to a glaze. All right, I've got my braising liquid reducing. Now it's time to assemble the gremolata. I've got horseradish, cider vinegar, chopped garlic, and now I just need to mince some fresh parsley, zest some lemon, and then juice it. Take my chef's knife, start slicing through it, bunch it back up, and now I'm gonna start that rocking motion. So I'm rocking my knife back and forth. You wanna make sure your knife is nice and sharp so it slices through the parsley really cleanly and doesn't just bruise it. That is beautiful, nice and small. This is going into my bowl now. I'm gonna use the back of my knife. There we go. I'm gonna zest the whole lemon. I want this to be really bright and acidic because it's gonna be served with the really rich and kind of fatty short ribs. And so this bright acid and fresh flavor is gonna cut through that richness of those short ribs. Now I'm gonna juice it. Freshly cracked black pepper. And a nice big pinch of salt. And stir it up. Now I'm gonna put the short ribs into the oven to start crisping. As you can see, the braising liquid has reduced and it's almost glaze-like now. The bubbles have changed from boiling more like water to now they're slow and big bubbles that kind of pop like lava. That lets us know that this is about ready. Mmm, fantastic. They're starting to crisp up. They're popping a little bit. Now I'm going to glaze these and put them back in. The other thing that I like about this slow cooker is that it has a removable insert, so I can tip it sideways like this to get this glaze that I've created. Pour it over each one. Really give it a good coat. 
There's a ton of flavor in this braising liquid. Now these are going to go into the oven to start crisping. Oh my gosh, this kitchen smells amazing. These are super crisp, caramelized, and I cannot wait to eat them. All right, now it's time to plate and serve. I also want to mention that this is a great recipe to make ahead. You could do all of that work in the slow cooker a day or two before you want to serve them. Finish them off in the oven, do this last part. So this is a really great meal to have for any occasion. There we go, there's the beef. I'm just gonna drizzle it kind of over the top, making sure I get a little bit on each one. Again, all of the like, acid and the horseradish in this gremolata really helps cut through that richness of those short ribs. You could serve these with anything from polenta or risotto to mashed potatoes or even just steamed rice. They're delicious, super versatile. Enjoy.